Mother's Day means hugs and kisses to thank the women who raised us. But the fear of infection is impacting the holiday like never before, and that includes for florists. Mother's Day is usually their Super Bowl bonanza. Christina Rex tells us this year, many are just hoping to stay in business. At Orly Cone Floral, where money's made off corporate events and weddings, business has been virtually non existent. Honestly, we haven't been able to do much for business. Now, the first signs of spring as staff came back to work for one week to prep arrangements for Mother's Day. This is the first time that we have like such a big turnout for like Mother's Day. Orly Cohn says she's lucky to be able to work here at her studio in Boston's South End, where customers get their flowers delivered or just come right to the door to pick up the perfect gift for mom. Thank you so much. This is the typical method now, curbside pickup for one of the most popular flower buying holidays of the year. It's been really hard. However, not all businesses are blooming. At Flowers by the Station in Attleboro, owner Ann Hunt is keeping the doors closed for the first time in 33 years. Two or three people in the shop plus a couple of drivers was just too much. It wasn't set up for that. So I said, this is not worth it. We're closing. Hunt estimates she's lost $60,000 in revenue since closing. And the toll is emotional, too. It's really hard, not just financially, but we know so many of our customers. We know their mothers. Still, she's hopeful she'll be back safely soon. And so is Orly Cohn, despite an unclear future. Of course, it's really hard to see your business that you have for 15 years, like for a reason like this one, to just like go down and you have like no idea what's going to happen. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.